Speak American English with Lyman Holton. See the links in the description box below this video. A nice surprise awaits you. Conversation number one. A quick trip to the store. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I'm going to the store. I need to buy some things. Of course not, Kelly. I always enjoy your company. Are you ready to go now, or do you need a little time to get ready? I'm going to drive. It looks like it might rain. Yes, I know what you mean. I don't like doing that either. Not necessarily, Kelly. I probably would have driven my car, even on a sunny day. What do you need at the store? Okay, we can stop at the supermarket on our way back from the hardware store. Not much. A light switch, a small can of paint, just some odds and ends. Switch! Kelly, where are you going? Really? I need to get a few things too. Mind if I tag along? Well, thank you. I enjoy hanging around with you too. I'm ready to go now. How are we going to get there? Great, Kelly. I didn't want to carry my bags home anyway. Thank goodness it looks like rain, or we'd be walking. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm kind of lazy that way, too. I'm going to make some stew tonight. I need more vegetables. What do you need at the hardware store? End. Conversation number two. Make plans to go to a restaurant. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Yeah, okay. What time would you like to go? Do you mean 10 in the morning? Sorry, Kelly, that's too late for me. Yes, I have to work on Saturday. I'll be in bed by 10. I'm sorry, but that's too early. I'll still be at work. What can I say? I'm just happy to have a job. Yes, that fits perfectly. I get off at 7. Where would you like to eat? Sounds good. I could go for a steak and a baked potato. Terrific, Kelly. See you then. Switch. Kelly, would you like to go out for something to eat this Friday? How 
how about 10 o'clock? No, 10 at night, 10 p.m. Too late, even for a Friday night? Okay, how about 6 p.m.? Does that work for you? Oh my goodness, you have a difficult schedule, don't you? Well, will 8 o'clock be all right? Right, Kelly, and you can still be in bed by 10. I want to go to a nice steak restaurant. Okay, I'll make reservations and pick you up at 745. End. Conversation number three, give someone a ride to work. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Sure, Kelly, what do you need? Oh, that's too bad. Nothing too expensive, I hope. Oh, I see. So, do you need a ride to work in the morning? No, I don't mind at all, Kelly. I'd be happy to. It's no problem. I'll swing by and pick you up at 7. Okay, by the way, how are you getting home tonight? Really? Well, it sounds like they take good care of their customers. Do you need a ride to pick up your car tomorrow afternoon? Wow, that is good service. Uh, don't worry about that. That's what you have friends for. Switch. Kelly, I have a bit of a problem. Can I ask you for a favor? Well, my car is in the garage for repairs. No, it's not, but I won't have it back until tomorrow afternoon. Yes, would you mind picking me up on your way to work tomorrow? Thanks, Kelly. That is so nice of you. That's perfect. I'll spring for lunch tomorrow. The repair shop is sending a man to give me a ride. Yes, I've been doing business with them for years. No, but thanks for asking. They're going to drive the car here. Yes, I just wish they could drive me to work in the morning too. And conversation number four, directions to the library. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Oh my, I'm afraid the closest one is a couple miles from here. Yes, are you going to drive there? 
because the bus that will be here shortly goes there. Sure, uh, what is your name, if you don't mind me asking? That's all right, I'd just like to know who I'm talking to. I'm Lyman. Now, to get to the library, drive that way to the fifth stoplight. Turn left and go about one mile, and you'll see the library on the right. I'm not sure. I think it's 2nd Avenue. No problem, Kelly. I hope you don't have any trouble finding it. Oh yeah, I just remembered. The library is next to the shopping center. Switch! Excuse me, where's the nearest library? So, there is a library about two miles away? Yes, why do you ask? I see. Could you give me directions for driving? Oh, of course not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. My name is Lyman, and may I ask what yours is as well? Okay, I go to the fifth stoplight. Then what? All right, do you know the name of the street where I turned left? Okay, thanks for the information, Kelly. Oh, I'm sure I'll find it okay. End. Conversation number five. Dining at a buffet. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Yeah, I heard the same thing. I'm glad I finally got to come here. I prefer a booth. They're more comfortable. Yeah, I know, Kelly. People are always bumping into me when I sit at a table. There isn't any ordering here. We just grab a plate and get our food. That's right, we get our own food and drinks, and there's no tipping. Yes, me too. There's such a wide variety of delicious foods to choose from. I'm going to start with some of that smoked salmon. Okay, Kelly. See you back at the booth. Oh yeah, I'm going to dive into some of that pecan pie before we leave. I've got to get to that salad bar next. The watermelon is calling my name. Switch. I heard this restaurant has the best buffet in the city. Kelly, do you want to sit in a booth or at a table? Okay, 
I like booths too. They're more roomy and private. This looks like a good place to sit. Are you ready to order? Oh, so we just pay on the way out? Ah, I love these all-you-can-eat places. Right, and all for a reasonable price. Who could ask for more? Wow, that does look good. But I'm going for the pasta first. Oh my gosh, did you see the dessert table? It's incredible! I'll be right beside you, Kelly, throwing down chocolate cake and ice cream. End. Conversation number six. Let's go Dutch. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. No thanks, Kelly. I've been snacking all day. Yes, I'd like some coffee. That's okay. How about a cup of hot cocoa? Hmm. Let's walk over to the diner and have coffee. You don't have to buy. Let's go Dutch. Go Dutch is another way of saying Dutch treat. It means that each person pays their own way. Yes, I suppose it is more intimate. Oh? Uh, what did you remember, Kelly? Really? So, I guess you don't want to go Dutch, huh? Switch. Kelly, would you like something to eat? Do you want something to drink? Sorry, I don't have any. I used the last of it this morning. I'm afraid I don't have any of that either. That's a good idea. I'll buy. I don't understand. What do you mean, go Dutch? Okay, but I don't know what Dutch treat means either. Oh, I see. But I like taking turns paying. Wait a minute, Kelly. I just remembered something. I paid the last time. It's your turn to buy. End. Conversation number seven. Getting a new job. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. 
I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I'm going to a job interview later this morning. Me too. I've been looking for a better job all year. It's the IT boys. They just opened a new office nearby. Well, Kelly, do you know what IT stands for? IT stands for Information Technology. No, if they hire me, I'll be part of a team that develops software. Quite a bit. It's close to the same thing I've been doing at my current job. The IT boys pay better, and I'll have a better chance for promotion there. That's right, Kelly. More money to start with, and more in the future, too. Great leadership in a fast-moving, expanding market. Switch! Kelly, what are you going to do today. Hey, that's great. I hope you get the job. What company are you interviewing with? What kind of company is that? Strange name. No, I don't. What does IT mean? Oh, I see. So you'd be repairing computers? That sounds pretty cool, Kelly. Do you have much experience? Then why do you want to change jobs? By promotion, you mean more pay raises in the future? Why is that? What makes that company different from the others? End. Conversation number eight. You need to go to the doctor. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Hi, Kelly. Not too good. I've been sick. No, not really. It's just a bad cold, or maybe the flu. No, I've just been taking over-the-counter cold remedies. Yes, I got one a few months ago, so it's probably not the flu. Yeah, more like three or four. I keep thinking that I'll get better soon. Yeah, I suppose that's what I should do. I know. I just hate going to the doctor. It's so expensive. That's a good point. I'll make an appointment at the clinic today. All right, Kelly. 
I'll give you a call after the appointment. Switch. Hello, Kelly. Haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Oh, that's too bad. Is it something serious? What do you mean, maybe the flu? Haven't you seen a doctor yet? Did you get a flu shot this year? How long have you been sick? More than two weeks? If I were you, I'd make an appointment to see a doctor right now. If you don't take this seriously, you may end up getting much sicker. Kelly, it may be a lot more expensive if you wait until you're sicker. That's the smart thing to do. Let me know what the doctor tells you. And conversation number nine, buying shirts in a clothing store. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Oh, hello. May I help you? Sure, here you are. That one is $50. Well then, how about this one? It's on sale for only $35. What do you think about the shirt in the display window on the left? It's very similar to the more expensive one that you liked. It's $30. Is this color okay or would you like a different color? All right, is there anything else that you're interested in seeing today? Okay, take your time. I'll be right here when you're ready. Switch. Excuse me. Yes, can I see that shirt on the top shelf, please? Thank you. How much does it cost? Fifty dollars? That's too much. No, it's not my style. I don't like that one. Hmm, yes, it does look rather nice. I do like it. How much is it? Oh my, I like the shirt and the price. Yes, the color is fine. Blue is my favorite. As a matter of fact, there is, but I want to look around a bit first. And conversation number 10. 
Getting directions to an inn. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Sure, it's down this street on the left. Well, that depends. It depends on whether you're walking or driving. Then it's not far, about a mile and a half. What brings you here? Are you on vacation? I see. So you're a salesman? Okay, you must be meeting with the owner of the new auto parts store. Sure, you can fill up at pump number one. Do you want to pay with cash or a credit card? Okay, then you can pay at the pump after you're finished filling up. Switch! Excuse me, I'm looking for the Starlight Inn. Do you know where it is? Is it very far from here? What do you mean, that depends? Oh, I'm driving. My car's right outside. Good. I've been driving for hours. No, I'm here to meet with a new customer we have in this area. Good guess. Yes, I am. I sell wholesale auto parts. That's right. By the way, I need to get some gas. All right. Can I pay now? I'm going to use my company's credit card. End. Conversation number 11. How do I get to the mall? Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I sure do. I used to work there. Go straight for about a mile, and turn right at the first light. Stay on that road for another two miles, until you come to a golf course. You'll see it on the left. Turn right at that intersection. The mall is just one block down that street. You can't miss it. If I remember correctly, it's 2930 West Street. Yeah, that's a good idea, but I don't think you'll have any problems finding it. That's true. Are you from around here? Yes, I understand. Driving in an unfamiliar area can be confusing. Uh, no problem. Just watch the speed limit. Our police love to give traffic tickets. Switch. Excuse me, 
Do you know how to get to the mall? Oh, really? So, what's the best way for me to get there? Okay. Turn right at the light, then what? All right. Is the golf course on the left or the right side of the road? Okay. After I turn right, then what? Good directions. Thanks. Do you know the address? Oh, great. I'll put that in my GPS. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry. I live on the other side of the city. I hardly ever get over here. Well, thanks for the information. See you around. End. Conversation number 12. Planning a vacation in Canada. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. It's August 15th. Why? What's going on, Kelly? Why is that? Where did you think I'd be today? Oh no, it starts on the 25th. Yep, on the 25th I'll be on my way to Canada. No, I signed up for a tour. It's going to be great. Well, we're going to fly out at 11 a.m. on the 25th. We land in Ontario. From there, we get on a tour bus. Five days. We'll be going to many of the top tourist attractions. Four nights in a row at four of the best ones. Nope, the travel agency gave me a big discount for buying the last seat. Switch. Hi, Kelly. Hey, what's the date today? I wasn't expecting to see you here today. I thought you told me that your vacation starts on the 15th. Oh yeah, I guess I got my dates confused. How are you going to get there? Drive? Really? What's the plan? Give me the highlights. Okay, then what? Where are you flying to? Sounds nice. How many days will you be on the bus? That's great, Kelly. Will you be staying at some of the nicer hotels? Wow, 
That sounds terrific, but I bet it's really expensive, huh? End conversation number 13. It's important to be friendly. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Which woman are you talking about, Kelly? Oh, that's Jane. Haven't you met her yet? Oh, come on, Kelly. She works here, in our office. No, Jane is one of our new admin secretaries. I told you before, you spend too much time at your desk. Work is important, Kelly, but so is socializing with the other employees. That's right. One day you're going to need some help from a friend. That's exactly right, Kelly. It's also harder to get promoted if you're unpopular. Oh, really? And how are you going to do that? Well, that'll certainly make you more popular. I'll help you spread the word. Switch. Kelly, do you know who that woman is? The tall woman over there, in the blue dress with blonde hair. No, I've never seen her before. Is she one of our clients? You're joking, right? Is she an attorney? Gee, I guess I need to pay more attention to what's going on. True, I guess I could at least eat lunch in the break room instead of at my desk. You're right, Kelly. I don't want to get a reputation for being antisocial. I know, and I won't have any friends to ask for help. Well, I tell you what, Kelly, I'm going to change right now. I'm going to order pizza for everyone in the office for lunch today. End. Conversation number 14. How to improve your English. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Hi, Kelly, and thank you for the nice compliment. I learned like most people by taking classes in public school. The only thing I did different was to take some extra language classes. You could say I studied more than everyone else. Maybe study isn't the right word. I should say I practiced speaking. Oh, 
Okay, okay. I'll tell you exactly what I did. I'm sorry, Kelly, but many people aren't serious about speaking better. I simply spoke English as much as possible. What do you mean that doesn't make sense? Repeat what a native speaker says over and over until you speak like one. Well, the teacher must read English dialogues out loud with you. Right, and you say the other, then switch sides of the conversation. Yes, also your teacher must correct every word you do not say correctly. That's right, and your English will improve a lot very quickly. Record your voice while you're speaking out loud during ESL videos. Yes, listen to how well you speak compared to the native speaker. Switch! Hi Kelly, I want you to know that I think you speak English very well. You're welcome. I've been meaning to ask you how you got so good at speaking English. Yeah, but we all took those same classes and you speak much better. Okay, so most of us did that too. Come on, Kelly, what else did you do? Explain how studying made you speak better. How did you practice? Who did you practice with? It's about time. You're really making this difficult. Well, I am serious about improving my English. Please tell me what you did. That doesn't make sense, Kelly. I speak English a lot every day and I'm not improving. It's really that simple? So, the native speaker says one side of the conversation. I suppose going over many different conversations many times is crucial. So, I pronounce every word exactly like the teacher does. What if a person can't get a native speaker to teach them? Then play back the recording to hear how I sound. End. Conversation number 15. Store hours and social media. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Mm -hmm. 
Sure, it's open from 8 a.m. to 9.30 p.m., Monday through Saturday. I don't remember for sure. I think it's open from 12 noon to 6 p.m. Oh, when did your new neighbor move in, Kelly? Oh, really? Japan? That reminds me of an old friend of mine. Yeah, I haven't seen or heard from him in years. That's true. I'm not very good at staying in touch with people. Hmm, I should do that. His name may turn up someplace. That's a good idea, Kelly. Care for a cup of coffee? But you never drink black coffee. You always use cream and sugar. Why? I've seen people fatter than you. I'm just kidding, Kelly. You look fine. Switch. Hey, Kelly, do you know what hours the grocery store is open? Is it closed on Sundays? Thanks. My new neighbor was asking me about it. Just yesterday. He seems like a nice guy. He's from Japan. You have a friend who lives in Japan? Why don't you keep in touch with him? It's easy enough to do. Just do a search for him on the internet. It's really easy to do. It's worth a try. Just about everyone is connected through social media now. Sure, that sounds good. I'm going to drink mine black. Yeah, I switched to just black coffee. I've been trying to lose weight. End. Conversation number 16. It's expensive to raise children. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Yeah, Kelly, I have two kids, a boy and a girl. Hmm, you're right. I guess they just never came up in our conversations. My daughter is 19 years old and my son is 17. She'll start next fall. She wanted to take a break after high school. Ah, uh, he's okay. I think he misses fighting with his sister. No, she's spending a year in New York City with her aunt. Well, that's half the story. She's just always been very close to her aunt.
She's lucky she can stay with her aunt. Otherwise, she, it'd be too expensive. Yeah, but I saved up for that. I did not plan for her to visit New York. Nope, no breaks for the boy. He's going to college and getting a job ASAP. Switch. Kelly, do you have any children? Oh, really? I've never heard you mention anything about them. So, how old are your kids? That's interesting. Is your daughter in college now? Yeah, I can understand that. How's the boy doing? Oh, your daughter doesn't live at home now? Did she get married? Why is that? Did she want to experience life in the big city? Sounds nice. I have a son about that age. I'm sure he'd like to go there too. What about her college tuition? That's really going to be expensive. How about your son? Will he go on a long break too? End. Conversation number 17. Going through an airport. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Yes, I have my bags packed. How about you? Just two. I'll put the larger one in check baggage and carry on the other. What do you think? Should we drive to the airport? No, the airport's too far away to take a taxi cab, and it costs too much. How about this idea? We take a taxi to the bus station. Wow, I didn't know this airport was so big. It looks like the ticket counter for our airline is way across the terminal. Okay, so we checked in our baggage and got our boarding passes. Let's pull out our passports, Kelly. The TSA agent has to see them. Oh, it's no big deal, Kelly. We'll be on our plane soon, headed for Hawaii. Switch. Are you ready to go, Kelly? I'm all set. How many suitcases are you bringing? Yep, same here. I tried to get everything into one, but that didn't work. I think it'll be cheaper to take a taxi. Then we don't have to pay for parking. Well, that's true, Kelly. So, what should we do?
and take a bus to the airport. Now that's a good idea. Yeah, it's huge. Where do we check in for our flight? Oh yeah, I see it over there. Let's hurry up and get checked in. Yeah, now we just need to get through the security checkpoint. Oh, great, Kelly. Now we have to open our bags, take off our shoes. End. Conversation number 18. I lost my wallet. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I can't find my wallet. I know I had it when I left home. Yes, several times. I'm afraid I may have dropped it in the taxi. Let me think. It was a blue cab, but I don't remember the company's name. That sounds right. So, what should I do? Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, terrific. I'm really worried. I have everything in that wallet. So, is he going to call you back in a few minutes or what? What is he saying? Did they find it? They found it? Ask them to bring it to this store. I'm not at home. Oh, wow! What a relief! Thank you so much for helping me, Kelly. Switch! What's the matter, Kelly? You look upset. Did you double-check all of your pockets? Hmm, that's not good. Do you know the name of the cab company? Any blue taxis that I've seen belong to the downtown taxi cab company. Let's call their dispatch office and ask if anyone has found your wallet. I have their phone number. I'll give them a call right now. Okay, I talked to the dispatcher. He's contacting all the taxi drivers. Yes, in fact, my phone's ringing right now. It's probably him. Hold on, Kelly. He wants your address. The cab driver will drop off your wallet. All right, the taxi's on its way. He should be here in a few minutes. End. Conversation number 19. Talking to an old acquaintance. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. 
Hi, could I talk to Terry, please? This is Lyman. I work with Terry. Hello, Kelly. Do you know when Terry will be back? Uh, yes. Didn't we meet at the Christmas party? Well, it's good to hear your voice again. Oh, thanks. It was fun. I hope to see you at our next party. Oh, are you thinking about moving? Really? So you'll be moving out of the state? I hope you get it, but I'd like to see you again. Now that's a good idea. Please tell Terry I called. Switch. Hello. I'm sorry, Terry just left. Who's calling, please? Oh, hi, Kelly. This is Terry's roommate, Lyman. Kelly, don't you remember me? That's right, where you and Terry work. Same here. You told some really funny stories. I'll be sure to come if I'm still living in this area. Yes, I may start working for a new company. Yes, I'll have to move to New York if I get the job. Me too. How about the three of us go out together one night soon? End. Conversation number 20. Our recent European vacation. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I went on a trip with my family last month. We went to Europe. London, Paris, and a few other smaller ones. No, we didn't go there. I'd like to see it next time. Yeah, I've heard it's a beautiful place for tourists. That was true for all the European cities we went to. Going on tours in the castles. Yes, they're spectacular, and they're everywhere. Some are, but many have been restored. Exactly. I got to see how the wealthy people used to live. Switch! Kelly, what have you been up to lately? Really? Where did you go? That sounds great! What cities did you visit? Did you go to Berlin?
I think fall is the best time to visit Berlin. Right, and the local people are very friendly too. What was your favorite part of the trip? Oh, I hadn't even thought about the castles. Aren't they really just broken down old buildings? Wow. So, it must be like stepping back in time. End. Conversation number 21. I shop and love sales. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I went shopping. Why do you ask? I just picked up a few things that were on sale. I bought this jacket. What do you think? Do you like it? At the mall on 6th Avenue. Sure, it was on sale. I only paid $40. I know, I'm anxious for fall to get here so I can wear it. It'll be going on for another week. What do you need? Well, it doesn't matter how cheap something is if you don't need it. Yes, if you don't need something, don't buy it. That's just a waste of money. Switch. Kelly, what did you do today? Just curious, I saw your car was gone earlier, so what did you buy? Oh really? Anything good? Yeah, it looks very nice. Where did you find it? It looks expensive. Can I ask what it cost? Wow, you were really lucky. That was a good deal. When does the sale end? Hmm, maybe I'll stop by there tomorrow. Um, nothing really. Do you think so? Even if it's a really low price. But I love buying things on sale. Anything! End. Conversation number 22. Plans for dinner and a show. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin.
all kinds, but mostly pop, rock, and classical. Why? What kind of music is it? When is it? Yeah, I'd like to go. It'd be fun to stop for something to eat on the way, too. Let's eat at the restaurant across the street from my apartment. It's the same place we went to last month. Yeah, that place has the best barbecued ribs I've ever eaten. Oh man, I wanted to order a fourth helping. Yeah, I ordered the second and third helpings when you stepped outside to talk on your phone. I just couldn't help myself. I'm really looking forward to going back there. Sorry, Kelly. By the way, do you think I'm getting fat? Switch. Kelly, what kind of music do you like to listen to? I have tickets to a show. Do you want to go with me? Pop, it's Maria Carey. At 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Yes, that's a good idea. We can make a night of it. Oh, I think I know the place you mean. That's right. I remember you carrying on about the food. I know you really enjoyed yourself there. A fourth helping? You mean you ate three orders of beef ribs? Are you insane, Kelly? I was only outside for about 15 minutes. Oh my goodness! I've created a barbecued ribs monster! Oh no, that's just 50 pounds of baby fat hanging over your belt. End. Conversation number 23. It's nice to have a good friend. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. No, not this weekend. I have too much work to do. My father lives in Washington, D.C. My mother died two years ago. No, he retired last year. Yes, two of my cousins live about 10 miles outside the city limits. Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York and a sister in Boston. Not as much as I'd like to. Yeah, usually I only get to see them on major holidays like Christmas.
Well, the good thing about that is we don't get bored with them. What do you say we go do something together after work this Friday? Thanks for saying that, Kelly. I agree. Switch. Hey, Kelly, are you going home this weekend? Where do your parents live? How about your mother? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? Do you have any family here? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you see them very often? Yes, I'm in the same situation. I don't get to see my family much. Right, I only see mine on holidays and at weddings and funerals. That's true, and they don't get tired of us hanging around. That sounds nice. I guess a good friend is just like family. End. Conversation number 24. Going to the library. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Okay, can we stop on the way so I can buy a newspaper? Are we going to walk or drive? The weather is good now, but I think it's supposed to rain later. No, he's still sleeping. Yeah, he didn't come home until midnight. I hope so, too. I'll give him a call when we get to the library. It's straight down this road on the left, next to the museum. Only about 30 minutes or so. Well, yes, but you'll have your umbrella. You know, Kelly, you're really annoying sometimes. You don't even know if it's going to rain for sure. I'll go get the car. Switch! Kelly, would you like to go to the library with me? Sure, that's no problem. We can pick up a newspaper. Hmm, the weather is really nice today. Let's walk. All right then, let's take umbrellas. Is your brother coming with us? Wow, it's already 10 o'clock. He must have been up late last night.
Well, I hope he shows up later. I always enjoy his company. By the way, how do you get there from here? How long will it take us to get there? Thirty minutes? You mean I may have to walk in the rain for thirty minutes? I think I'd rather have a car than an umbrella. Yeah, well, you tend to come up with some very bad ideas. You're an idiot. End. Conversation number 25. Meeting for the first time. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Do you speak English? Yes, I am. I'm from Ohio. My name is Lyman. Nice to meet you too, Kelly. Switch. Hi. I'm fine, and you? A little bit. Are you American? Where are you from? Nice to meet you, Kelly. My name is Lyman. And conversation number 26. Getting a job interview. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. No, I'm not. A little, but not very well. I'm Lyman. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kelly. I'm a student. What do you do? How do you like that kind of work? Does your office need any part-time help? I've been here for about four months now. Thanks, Kelly. Could I get an interview today? Switch. Excuse me, are you American? Do you speak English? Well, hi. My name is Lyman. What's yours? Same here, Kelly. What type of work do you do? I work in marketing for a local clothing company. I like it. I get to meet a lot of interesting people. Hmm, how long have you been in the U.S.? All right, Kelly. We can give you an interview. Sure, I work right over there. Ask for marketing. End. 
Conversation number 27. Waiting for a bus. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Sure. My name is Lyman. What's yours? Is this where we wait for the bus to Seoul? Do you know what time it is? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? Thanks. I'm going to Seoul to do some shopping. I enjoy window shopping, just looking around. Yes, there are many interesting people there. Great, it's right on time, too. Okay, Kelly, I was thinking the same thing. Switch! Excuse me, may I ask what your name is? Lyman. Yes, it is. Sure, it's 6.40. I said it's 6.40. No problem. You're welcome. There are so many places to shop there. Me too, and I like people watching. Oh, look, Kelly, here comes our bus. Let's sit together. We can chat on the way. End. Conversation number 28. Where's the subway station? Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Hi, Kelly. What's up? How are you going to get there? It's right over there, just across the street. The entrance is next to the hotel. No problem, I'm glad I could help. Yes, there's one in that coffee shop you can use. I should. I've lived and worked in this area for many years now. I'd be happy to, Kelly. Yes, I'll be free all afternoon that day. Okay, that sounds good, Kelly. I'll see you then. Switch! Hi, Kelly. I'm going to the airport to meet with a friend. I'm going to take the subway. Where's the nearest station? Where? I don't see it. Oh, yes. I see it now. Thanks. Would you happen to know if there's a restroom nearby? Thank you, Kelly. You really know your way around here, don't you?
Could you show me around one day this week? Do you have time to meet with me on Wednesday? Terrific. Let's meet here for lunch at 12 o'clock. I'll buy. End. Conversation number 29. Let's go out for pizza. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I'm fine, Kelly. And how have you been? Let's go do something. Nothing special. Have you eaten yet? Me too. What sounds good to you? Chinese? Works for me. I haven't eaten Italian in a while. I'm not picky, just hungry. You choose. Oh yeah, a large pepperoni with double cheese. I want some of those warm breadsticks too. You read my mind, Kelly. Yes, I do. Let's go. I'm starving. Switch. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I've been okay. No problems. All right. What do you have in mind? No, but now that you mention it, I am hungry. No, I had Chinese for lunch yesterday. Maybe Italian? What kind of Italian food do you like? Well, if you're really hungry, let's go for pizza. If that doesn't fill us up, nothing will. The ones totally covered with Parmesan cheese? Not really, Kelly. I just know how much you love cheese. And conversation number 30. Where are your glasses? Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I'll help you look for them. Sure, but we should concentrate on finding your glasses first. I guess you do need your glasses if you can't even find your computer. Well, your computer is on the chair over there. Which one? It's on the small table next to your desk. No, I haven't. Look, we're wasting time looking for these other things. Have you checked your desk drawers? Okay, while I do that, you go check your jacket pockets.
Thank goodness, you are beginning to stress me out. Switch! Kelly, I can't find my glasses. While we're looking, can you help me find a few other things? I'm really in a hurry. I can't see well enough to find my laptop. Oh, this is terrible. I have to write a report this morning. Great. Now, where's my book? The thick one about business plans. Have you seen my glasses anywhere yet? You're right. I can't do anything until I find my glasses. Yes, I felt around in them. Maybe you should double check. Kelly, I found them. They were in my jacket. End. Conversation number 31. A really bad restaurant. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Okay, here you go. How was everything? Oh my, was there a problem? Didn't you enjoy your meal? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. If you had told me, I would have gotten you another one. What? You found a hair in your salad? You should have said something. But what? Was there another problem with the food? A fly in your soup? Oh, for the love of Pete! Are you serious? I've never heard anything like this from any of our other customers. Oh, please don't do that. You don't have to pay for the meal. Oh, please don't. That isn't necessary. I can't believe you're going to tip me 15%. Generous? I usually get 20%. Some people are so unreasonable. I know, but like you said, it wasn't my fault. Switch. Excuse me, could I have my check, please? I don't want to be rude, so I'll just say I've had better food. Well, my hamburger was stone cold. After finding a hair in my salad, I was afraid to get another burger. Well, I was thinking about doing just that, but... Yes, it was the fly in my soup that really ruined the dinner for me. Yes, unfortunately, this was the worst meal I've ever had in a restaurant.
I'm going to complain to the health department. Well, thank you for that, but I do want to leave you a tip. Here's your tip. It's 15% of what the bill would have been. I know that's generous of me, but after all, it wasn't your fault. Wow, everything about this place is awful. End. Conversation number 32. Buying an airline ticket. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I'd like to buy a ticket to New York. Round trip, please. When does the next plane leave? I'd like a ticket for that flight, please. Economy class. So, are there any seats available on that flight? What's the next flight after that one? Okay, are there any seats available for that flight? Yes, please. Here you go. Thank you for all your help. Switch. Next, please. How can I help you? Would you like a one-way ticket or a round trip? When will you be leaving? In about two hours. Would you like first class or economy class? Okay, let me check for availability. No, I'm sorry, but seats for that flight are all sold out. The next flight leaves 90 minutes later. Yes. Would you like me to reserve a seat for you on that flight? All right. That'll be $120. End. Conversation number 33. Help me find my driver's license. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Hmm. When was the last time you remember seeing it? No. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen your license. Well, don't you usually keep it in your wallet? Why? It's just a little card. It's very easy to carry. Well, I guess you can see that isn't a good plan. Sure. Where do you usually put it when you take it out of your wallet? Let me double check your desk drawers. Apparently you didn't look through the whole desk. Yes, after I saw how full your drawers were, 
I pulled them all out. No, it had fallen back behind the drawers and was under your desk on the floor. You're welcome. Now please, keep it in your wallet all the time. Switch! Hey Kelly, I can't find my driver's license. I'm not really sure. Have you seen it anywhere? Oh my, this isn't good. Yes, but sometimes, if I'm not going to be driving, I take it out. I take it out so I don't lose it if I were to lose my wallet. Will you help me look through these drawers, please? In my desk drawer, but it isn't in there. Don't bother. I already searched through the whole desk. Did you find it? Was it really in my desk the entire time? So my driver's license was in one of my desk drawers after all? Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I will. I've learned my lesson. Come on, let's go to the cafe for lunch. I'll drive. And conversation number 34. You need to clean your house. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Sure, no problem, but why now? Whoa, it looks like you need to do more than just tidy things up a little. How in the world did your house get so messy? Well, from the looks of this place, you must really dislike doing housework. Kelly, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but this is kind of crazy. If this is the best you can do, you've got some serious problems. I'll have to see it to believe it. If we start cleaning now, we'll be here for three days. What? A dead cat? I don't know. I found the corner where you throw your dirty underwear. I'm not in your bedroom closet. I'm in your kitchen. I'm not feeling well. I think I'm going to go home now. Switch. Kelly, can you help me clean up a bit before we go? I overslept and didn't get to tidy things up before you got here. I know. I've been neglecting my housekeeping responsibilities.
I tend to put off doing things that I don't like. Yeah, I need to make myself clean more often. Hey, come on. I do the best I can around here. Oh, it's not that bad. I'll have the place spotless for you next time. Well, let's hurry and get things cleaned up. I want to go out. Oh, hey! Look what I found under the sofa cushion. Very funny. No, the pizza I ordered last night. How did that get under there? What are you doing in my bedroom closet? You found a pile of dirty underwear in my kitchen? You're right, this is bad. End. Conversation number 35. Eating in a restaurant. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. It is. I love eating at this truck stop. Okay, wherever you like. Me too. I like the rustic country decor. Can you pass me a menu, please? No, I think I'll have a glass of iced tea instead. Do you want to order an appetizer? No, they always serve a free basket of the greatest breadsticks. They really are. They're always hot and fresh. Everything tastes great. Whatever you get, you'll swear it's homemade. I recommend you try it. I think I'll have the same. Okay, I'll order for you if the waitress comes. Switch. Hey Kelly, this looks like a nice restaurant. Let's sit over there by the window. I really like the look and atmosphere of this place. Yeah, this place makes me feel very calm and relaxed. Sure, here you go. Are you going to have coffee? Well, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Not really. If you want, order something. Oh, that sounds good. So, what's the best thing to order here? Hmm, I haven't had a good chicken fried steak in a long time. Kelly, I'm going to use the restroom and wash up a bit. All right, thanks. I'll make it quick. End. Conversation number 36. That's a lot of laundry. Practice speaking. 
Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Oh, hi, Kelly. It's good to see you. Come on in. Fine. I've just been working a lot of overtime as usual. Yeah, I've been really busy. I need to get over to my sister's place and do my laundry. She's out of town. I have to wait until she gets back. There are always so many people there. I hate waiting. I didn't know that. I guess I could go real early in the morning. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll go tomorrow morning. That's true. It'd actually be faster for me to do that than to go to my sister's. Another good idea! That way I can win some of money to pay for my laundry. Switch! Hi Kelly. I thought I'd stop by and see how things are going. Thanks. So, how have you been? It looks like you haven't had much time to do your laundry. That's a pretty big pile of dirty clothes, my friend. So, why don't you go? It's Saturday and you're not working. Just go to the laundromat. There's one right down the block. Kelly, come on. It's open 24 hours a day. Right. The place is practically empty before 7 a.m. If you get there early, you can wash as many loads at one time as you want. So, now that's settled. Do you want to play cards for a while? Uh, yeah, right. We'll see about that. And conversation number 37, finding your way in a new city. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Sure, there's one nearby. It's just across the street. Do you see that red brick building over there? Yes, it's in there. That's a small bank. Sure, there's one right around the corner from the bank. Uh, no problem. Are you new here or just passing through? So, what brings you to our little city, if you don't mind me asking? Hi Kelly, my name's Lyman. Nice to meet you. So, is that a good thing or a bad thing?
Oh, why is that? And what's the good part? More money? Oh, is your company going through some hard times? Switch. Excuse me, do you know if there's an ATM machine around here? I don't see it. Could you please point it out for me? Yes, the place next to the bakery? Would you happen to know if there's a convenience store nearby? Oh, great. Thank you so much for your help. New. I just finished moving into my apartment last night. No, I don't mind. By the way, my name's Lyman. Thanks. It's nice meeting you, too. My company transferred me here. Well, it's good and bad. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm sorry I had to move, because I really liked my life in Dallas. Not so much. In fact, the good part is that I'm lucky to still have a job. That's putting it mildly. Half of us lost our jobs. The lucky ones were relocated. And conversation number 38. Find Hollywood on a map. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Sure. What are you looking for on your map? Oh, are you on your way to Hollywood now? Well, California is in the western part of the United States. Well, yes, but that's not how we talk about directions on a map. I guess you haven't used maps very much, huh? Don't feel bad. Everyone has to learn this at some point in their life. That's right. The right side is east. The top of a map is north, and the bottom is south. Yes, and Minnesota is in the north, and Louisiana is in the south. You can also use the GPS app on your smartphone for directions. You're kidding me, right? I don't think it's a good idea for you to travel alone. Switch! Excuse me, can you help me with this map? I'm trying to find Hollywood, California. Not right now, but I'm planning to go there soon. The western part? You mean the left side of the United States? What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I guess that's rather obvious, isn't it? Okay, so the left side of the map is west? So, what's the top and bottom called?
So California is in the west and New York is in the east. Oh, thanks for explaining that to me. I feel so stupid. GPS? Smartphone? End. Conversation number 39. Sick after eating at a hotel. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Morning, Kelly. Yes, I had something to eat at the hotel. Yeah, it's all right. I wouldn't say it's anything special. Some cereal, fried eggs, and orange juice. Well, what I had this morning didn't taste right. It may be, but I think they were having problems this morning. Actually, I'm not feeling very well right now. No, I'm going to go back to the hotel at lunchtime and lie down. No, that's okay, but thanks for asking. What do you need at the drugstore? It's probably because of all that coffee you drink. Stop drinking the tea too. There's caffeine in it. Didn't you know that? Switch! Good morning, Kelly. Have you had breakfast yet? Oh, I've heard they have good food there. What did you have? So the food isn't very good there? That's a shame, and I've always heard it's a good hotel, too. You don't look so good. Do you feel okay? I'm sorry. Do you want to take a break? Okay. I have to pick up something at the drugstore. Do you need anything? I'm getting a prescription filled. I haven't been sleeping well lately. I don't think so. I don't drink any coffee after 3 p.m. Just green tea. Oh, really? Here I've been drinking tea, and I don't even like this stuff. And conversation number 40. Going to the movies. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Oh, I don't know, Kelly. Maybe we should go see a movie. Well, let me think. I've gotten tired of the superhero movies. All right. Are there any good comedies playing in the theaters? What time does it start? Really? How long is it? Yes, that's a long time to sit in a theater. Okay, but we're not bringing sandwiches. They're fine for lunch or a picnic, but not in a theater. 
The difference is that they sell food there. We shouldn't bring in our own. Oh, yes. And I'd rather we didn't look like two idiots who live in their car. Switch. Kelly, what do you want to do tonight? Yeah, I'm good with that. What do you want to see? How about a comedy? I'm looking now. Oh yeah, here's one that looks good. 6.30. Wow, it's a long one too. Three and a half hours. Maybe we should bring some sandwiches. I think it'll be all right. I've read it's really funny. Why not? We both love sandwiches. So what? What's the difference? Yeah, I suppose you're right. I guess I'm a little too cheap sometimes. End. Conversation number 41. It tastes funny and smells bad. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Oh, thank you. I made this from an old family recipe. But what? Don't you think this tastes great? What do you mean? Are you saying this tastes bad? How can you say that? I think this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you think that. Why? Hmm, I didn't notice their cat and feet smell. But you're right. A long time. My mother gave me the recipe. I haven't changed it. Well, I don't think so. Her cooking tastes better than this. Nothing. Maybe it just picked up the smell from my refrigerator. Mostly, but without the ham. Well, I have a foot odor problem and many cats. Switch! Wow, Kelly, that really has an unusual taste. I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but... To put it bluntly, no. I should have said strange instead of unusual. Yes, to be even more honest, it tastes horrible and disgusting. If you really like this stuff, there's something wrong with you. Well, the best I can describe the smell is a mix of cat, ham, and feet. Jeez, how long have you been eating this garbage? You mean your mother made food that smelled like cat and feet? What did you add to the ham to make it taste like this? This is what your refrigerator smells like? How in the world can that be?
Don't tell me anymore. I should just kill you now and save the world. And conversation number 42. It's a very special chair. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Okay, where do you want to move them? All right, so what do you want me to take out first? Of course, wasn't it a gift from your mother? Oh, wow, you weren't kidding. I can't even lift it. Why is it so heavy? What did you do to it? Why on earth did you have him do that? You mean they're supposed to make you smarter? Where did you hear this information about magnets and brains? Hmm, so this guy told you about the magnets? How much did you pay for all this? It sounds like you got scammed. Did you have to pay him to stop by and tell you that you're getting smarter? Oh, he did. I think the magnets have had a reverse effect on you. Uh, no. I really don't think you can get any stupider. Switch! Kelly, will you help me take these things out of here? Into the living room. How about that chair? Please be careful with it. Yep. Be careful not to hurt your back. It's pretty heavy. Here, let me give you a hand with it. I had a guy put several big magnets inside the cushions for me. I heard that magnets are good for your brain. Yep, and it's working too. From the guy who installed the magnets in the chair for me. Yeah, I'm lucky that he also happened to sell magnets and install them too. $3,000. I was lucky there too. That's half the regular price. Oh no, he stopped by last week and told me that I'm much smarter now. Certainly. He also said, if I stop getting smarter, I'll need to buy more magnets. So, what are you saying? Do you think I'm getting stupider? End. Conversation number 43. Visiting family with a friend. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Yes, I think so too. It's a lot better than mine, and it's new. Yeah, we're going to Chicago to visit my sister. About a year ago, she lives on 3rd Street across from the library.
Not to worry, we're going to take the subway. It's just a 20 minute ride. I take the subway to work every day, so I'm used to that. Yes, she's lived there for about 10 years now. You're right. It's hard to find anything that's reasonably priced now. Hey, why don't you ride along with us? Oh, that's nonsense. You're the same as family. We grew up together. Terrific. Go pack a suitcase and we'll get on the road. This is going to be great. Switch. Kelly, your brother's car is really nice. So, it looks like you're getting ready to take a trip. Oh, I didn't know your sister lives in Chicago. When did she move there? I see. It's almost 5 o'clock now. Don't you think there'll be a lot of traffic? Yes, but the subway's crowded. That makes me very uncomfortable. Doesn't your mother live in the city too? I remember when she moved there. Apartments were a lot cheaper then. Well, enjoy yourself. Give me a call when you have some free time. Thanks, but I'd just be a fifth wheel. It's a family meeting. Well, I would love to see your sister and mom again. End. Conversation number 44. Showing your vacation photo. Practice. Speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Yeah, I just got back this morning. We went shopping, out to dinner a few times, and took a tour of the city. Yes, I have them right here. Do you want to look at them? This is one of my brother and me on the beach. Yes, we were having a great time. Here's one of my mother and sister. I know, it's like they're almost twins. That was taken at the train station just before we left. No, not this time, but we will someday. Yes, we're already making plans to go to Florida next year. Yeah, I want to ride on a swamp buggy and an airboat too. They're so cool. Switch! Kelly, I heard you took a trip to San Diego. Is that right? That sounds really nice. What did you do there? Did you take any pictures? Sure, I love looking at vacation photos. You both look very happy and relaxed. Your sister really looks a lot like her mother. Where was this photo taken? Did you have time to go to the zoo? Well, it looks like everyone had a good time.
That sounds great. You'll love the beaches and wildlife parks. And conversation number 45. Buying flowers for a coworker. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Hi, I'd like to order some flowers, please. They're for our office receptionist, Janet. I don't know. Could you recommend something? Her cat just died, and we want to give her a gift that shows how much we care. No, I don't, but we want something that's appropriate and meaningful. That sounds fine. When can I pick it up? Yes, that's fine. We can give it to her at our afternoon break. Hi, is the bouquet ready? Oh, is this one mine? It's beautiful. I'm sorry, but I don't see it. You must be mistaken. These are just tree branches. There aren't any flowers, not even leaves. But this is just a bunch of wet, black branches wrapped in old newspapers. Well, all right, if you really think so, but why does it have to smell like fish? Switch. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Okay, who are they for? What kind of flowers would you like? Sure. What's the occasion for the flowers? Do you know what kind of flowers she likes? Well, okay, I can make a lovely bouquet for her. It'll be ready right after lunch. Is that soon enough? Then we're all set. I'll see you at around 1 o'clock. Hello! No, this one isn't yours. Yours is over there. It's right there, with the newspaper wrapped around the stems. Oh, don't worry. I can assure you, she'll absolutely love that bouquet. Ah, but your receptionist will see their meaning. She'll be thrilled. Trust me. End conversation number 46. Calling a coworker by phone. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Hi, is Mary there, please? Is this 555, 555, 55, 55? I'm calling for Mary. Do you know when she'll be back? Yes, would you please tell her that Lyman called? Oh yeah, I remember. How are you? Uh, 
I'm so happy I got to talk to you again. How about the three of us get together on Saturday night? Well, when she calls me back, I'll run the idea by her. Yeah, I think I can convince her to go out for a big steak and a few laughs. Switch! Hello? Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Uh, yes it is. Who are you looking for again? Oh, I thought you said Larry. But Mary isn't here right now. She'll be back in a few hours. Would you like to leave a message? Hi, Kelly. This is her cousin Lyman. We met at the New Year's party. I'm doing great. I'll let Mary know you called as soon as she gets back. Yes, me too. We had so much fun at that party. That sounds good, but I don't know if Mary's got other plans. Okay, great. And conversation number 47, keeping warm in the winter, practice speaking, read the white text out loud, I'll read the yellow text, please begin. Hi Kelly, it's Lyman. Yeah, it's been a while, thought I'd call to see how you're doing. Yes, that's true. So, what's the weather been like lately where you are? What's the temperature? Are you keeping yourself warm enough? Oh, so you put in a fireplace? That sounds like a good idea. In your house? How can you do that? So it's a closed barrel with a stovepipe running from it? So where does the smoke go? You don't just let it go in your house, do you? Really? I'd ask if you were crazy, but, well, it's a good thing you live alone. Switch. Hello. Hi, Kelly. Long time no see. Things are going okay, I guess. Everyone has a few problems. It's been really cold here. It snowed all day today. Now it's a little below freezing. It's usually much colder. Well, I'm trying to. I've been saving money by burning wood. No, I'm using a metal barrel. I set the barrel in my living room on a box of sand. No, I cut one end off the barrel and have it standing upright like a trash barrel. Well, of course not. I put a bathroom exhaust fan in the ceiling above it.
End. Conversation number 48. Plans for holiday shopping. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I'll be working. Why? I'd like to go with you, but Friday would be better for me. Well, maybe I can get the weekend off. I'll let you know. What kinds of things are you planning to buy as gifts? What store do you want to go to? Yeah, I've heard the same thing. It would be fun just to go look around. Sure, why not? Someone said that they even have an indoor park there. Yeah, there's a petting zoo and rides for the kids, too. No, it's not quite that big, but there is a subway and a bus station under it. Now you got me excited. I sure hope I can get the weekend off. Switch. What are your plans for the weekend? I need to do some holiday shopping. I thought we could go together. That's not good for me. I have to work on Friday. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. I'm not sure yet. I need to look around. Do some window shopping. I want to go to the new mall. I've heard that place is huge. Right. I want to make a day of it. We can eat there, too. Hmm. That sounds pretty cool. I hadn't heard that. Seriously? Is there an airport in there too? Let's take the subway there. I haven't been on the subway in years. And Conversation number 49. Meeting a friend at the mall. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. Hey, Kelly. Yes, this is me, Lyman. I'm still outside in the parking lot. I had an awful time finding a parking spot. Yes, this place is a madhouse. I'm just walking inside now. Why are you in the toy store? You don't have a nephew. You only have a niece. Are you feeling okay? Again, I must ask, are you feeling okay? How about we meet at the sandwich shop? I'm really hungry. Why do you want to buy a gift for someone who doesn't exist? I'm sorry to hear that, but what's that got to do with anything? You're not making sense. Sometimes I wonder if you really are an adult.
This is sad and scary. What scares me is that I actually understand. You're welcome. Now, please go sit at a different table. Switch. Hello, Kelly. This is Lyman. Where are you? What's taking you so long? I'm sorry. I didn't realize it would be so crowded here today. I'm on the second floor in the Bigger is Better toy store. I'm looking for a gift for my nephew. I'm certain that my sister will have a son someday. Are you coming up here or what? Okay, I'll meet you there in 10 minutes. Because when I was a kid, I never had many toys. I want toys. I have enough money to buy them now, but I'm an adult. I can buy toys now and play with them all I want. I tell people their gifts. Thanks for understanding. I knew you would. End. Conversation number 50. I want to improve my English. Practice speaking. Read the white text out loud. I'll read the yellow text. Please begin. I'm still a student. I go to Boston University. I'm studying English, math, and history. My major is English. It's been more than six years now. Yeah, I started learning English when I was in high school. Thanks for saying that, but I can only read and write well. Not nearly as well as I'd like to. I don't get a chance to practice much. Yes, but I still don't have many friends here yet. Really? That sounds nice. Thanks for inviting me. I'd love to come. Terrific. That's actually what I need. Thanks again. See you then. Switch. Excuse me, Kelly. I was wondering, what do you do for work? Oh, it didn't occur to me that you were a student. Where do you go to school? That's a good school. What are you studying? How long have you been studying English? Wow, that's a long time. Well, no wonder your English is so good. I understand, but I think you speak quite well, too. I see. I guess talking to native speakers would make a big difference. I'm having a party at my apartment Saturday night. You should come.
I'm sure that you'll meet a few people there who you'll connect with. And that's the end of this ESL video lesson. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now.